Hi guys, I started my photo editing journey a couple of decades ago and if you'd told me then that now I'd be using artificial intelligence to enhance and improve my photos, I would have told you you were dreaming. Well here we are in 2020 and editing your photos with AI is a reality. Mind blown. Well in this short video tutorial I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to get the software to do all the hard work for you so you can get your photo looking great with the minimum of fuss. Have a look at these examples of before and after. Now I'm sharing this editing tutorial with you as part of a series. It was originally recorded for Skylum as an official video but they've kindly said to me that I'm able to share it with you guys here. Now if you don't have Luminar 4 yet, don't worry, I've got a link below and also a discount code for you too. So go ahead and get yourselves a copy of that. I'm a professional photographer but here on this channel I just share my passion which is photo editing so if that's something you're interested in I'd look at Luminar, Lightroom, Photoshop, all of these programs and share tips and tricks with you guys. So if photography and photo editing is something that you're into too why not hit the subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Cheers guys let's get into the video. So I'm really excited to show you these tools guys. We're going to start with this image here which is a fantastic image but it's looking pretty flat. So let's see what the AI Enhance tool can do. As you can see we've got three things available to us here, the AI Accent, AI Sky Enhancer and then a mask. Now all of Luminar's tools come with masks and we'll look at that a little later. But for now let me just grab this AI Accent slider and start to increase that. And as you can see, as we push that all the way to 100, that is a dramatic effect that we have created here just with one slider. We can turn that off and on to see our before and after of using that particular tool. And you can see that's created a stunning enhancement, as simply as that. If we want to use the AI Sky Enhancer, we grab the slider and just slowly bring that up and you can see already that those blues are starting to become richer and deeper. So the Sky Enhancer is also driven by AI, so it's smart enough to know exactly where your sky is. Let's look at another example. Okay, now we've got another image to work on. Let's take a look at what AI Enhance can do for us here. If we grab AI Accent and bring that all the way up, we can see a dramatic improvement straight away. It really is a powerful slider guys. Now as we bring up the AI Sky Enhancer we can see that those blues are deepening and again the AI tool is smart enough to know exactly where our sky is and where our foreground starts. In this image let's take things a step further and look at AI structure. This tool is fantastic for adding details, clarity and as it says structure. So let's see what it does as we increase the slider Wow, it's bringing out all the details exactly where you want them and at the same time leaving things like the sky alone. If you feel like you've gone a little far with any of the tools, just jump back in and bring the slider back down. As we dive back into AI structure, you'll see that we have a boost section. If we bring that up, we can see the drama that's added into the foreground here. All the frost that's here on this foliage really comes up. But as with any of the tools, we don't need to use them anywhere near their full amount because they are so powerful. We can dial them back to a position where we feel it's a nice enhancement whilst remaining subtle and true to the original image. Let's have a look at our before and after the introduction of the AI structure. What an improvement. Let's take a look at another example. And in this one, I'm gonna introduce you to another AI tool. Now I really love this photo, but as you can see, coming straight out of camera, it really looks a little flat and washed out and could really use some help. So let's dive in and see what we can do with the AI Enhance and the Accent AI. Straight away, that is a marked improvement, night and day. But unfortunately, we can see just how dirty my sensor was when I actually shot this image. But don't worry, we're gonna to deal to that later. Let's look at the AI structure and see what we can do here. Now, as we increase that, what I love is what it's doing for the this rock formation here out at sea, but what I don't like 
is just how much it's bringing through the foreground here. And this is where our masking comes in. So if I come over to Edit Mask, I can choose between Brush, Radial Mask, and the Gradient Mask. And then at the bottom here is a Luminosity Mask. Each one of these serves its own purpose, but for this instance, we're gonna use the Brush tool to edit the mask. We're on Paint, so we're gonna paint the effect exactly where we want it, which is just over these rocks here. So as I start to paint, we are just revealing the AI structure exactly where I want it. What I might like to do is actually inc include a little of that adjustment through the foreground, but not at the full opacity. So what I'm gonna do is actually come to the paint tool again, drop the opacity down from 50% to somewhere around 20. That's fine. And I'm gonna use the bracket keys. The right bracket key will increase the size of my brush. The left bracket key decreases the size. So I'm gonna have a nice big brush here and I'm just gonna paint over this foreground element here. And that's gonna bring in some of that structure, but only at the percentage that we've set here, which is 18%. So if we turn this tool off and on by toggling it here, we can see that we have a notable improvement through the rocks, a slight improvement through the foreground here, and the rest of the image is left perfectly intact. Now we're happy with the mask, we can just click done and that will apply it. I mentioned that there was another AI tool that I was going to show you in this particular example, so let's take a look at that now. If we come to the Creative tab, we have AI Sky Replacement. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this particular tool, but I just wanted to show you and mention what it can do. Now, as you could see in this particular photo, my sensor was really not as clean as it should be, and that's affecting the sky up here. So I just wanna show you one more AI tool, which is really, really powerful. We're only gonna to touch on it here, but I just wanna show you. All we need to do is come to the drop-down box here that currently has the original sky and select a new sky that we'd like to put in. So let's try Bright Blue Sky 2, for example. And as you can see, the AI has done a fantastic job of selecting exactly where our sky is and masking around the rocks, masking at the horizon line and done a brilliant blend. Now if I change the sky, what you'll notice, if you look at the foreground and we go for dramatic sunset three, for example, watch the color toning in the foreground, boom. Because of this relight scene, we're matching the color of the sky and the scene. It really is a fantastic AI driven tool and we'll dive deeper into that in another video. Let's take a look at our before and after to see what we've done. Flat washed out image, a bit of AI help, and boom, we've got a great image. Let's take a look at another example. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. If it's of use to you, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'm happy to keep sharing my knowledge on Luminar and photo editing in general. Let's get back to it. In this stylized portrait, we can see that the background is pretty washed out and we can also see that in a fabric here we're losing a lot of detail. So let's see what the AI accent tool can do. As we bring that up, we can really see that that's enhancing the image. Let's put that around 70. Now let's take a look at our AI structure tool. What I wanna bring your attention to here is as I bring the percentage slider up, and bring it back down so you can see the difference, the clothes and the background are both having their structure increased. Whereas if you look at our model's skin, it's being left perfectly intact. And that is brilliant. That is showing where Luminar's AI tools have a huge advantage over other processing tools on the market. Because they're smart enough to detect where your subjects are, they can leave your skin intact on your model. And that is incredible. As in the last example where I introduced you to another AI tool, I just wanna mention here in this how we have an AI skin enhancer. So if I zoom into our model, I'll show you what that does. Again, we're not gonna to go too deep into this, but I just wanted to show you that it is there within the AI tool set. Let's grab the amount slider and bring that to the right. If I turn that off and back on, you can see what a marked improvement that is having on our model's skin. Absolutely fantastic. We'll dive into that in another video.
Let's check out our before and after. If you look on the left hand side, we've got our original and as I slide over our changes, you can see that we're improving pretty much every aspect of this image with just a couple of AI sliders. Amazing. Let's take a look at a new example using the AI structure tool and how we can apply a mask to that tool. I just love this photo. This silverback gorilla beating on his chest. I just think it's a fantastic shot, but I just feel like we can make it more dramatic. So let's see what our AI structure can do in this case. Let's grab the amount and ping it all the way to 100. Boom. You can see that the AI structure has enhanced our whole image. But what I'd love to do in this case is actually draw our attention more towards our gorilla. So let's take things a step further and boost the AI structure. Boom. Let's have a look at our before and after and see what this is doing. Before and after. So I'm just toggling that off and on. So we can see a massive improvement that I love over the gorilla itself. But what I'd like to do is draw our attention just to this guy. And that's where our masking comes in. Let's select edit mask and choose the brush tool. What we're going to do is paint over our gorilla and just reveal the AI structure tool over him. So let's choose our opacity to be 100%. So it's the full effect and let's start painting over our gorilla. Now we don't need to be super precise with this. If we overrun a little bit onto the grass, it's really not going to be a big deal. And if we do, we can always remove that from the grass as well. So let's say I'm happy with that. We can check our mask by clicking the eye icon next to the masking. And we can see we've missed a little bit on his tummy there. So let's just paint that in, maybe a little bit over there. And as you can see, it's not a super accurate mask. I was able to create it very quickly. But if we turn that off, and now let's have a look at him before and after the AI structure. And what an awesome, awesome improvement we've made. He really stands out now. And we've managed to use the AI tools to take this image to the next level. The AI structure tools are extremely powerful and you rarely need to use them at their full intensity. I've been going to the max most of the time in these examples purely for demonstration purposes, just to show you exactly what the tool is doing. But you can see in this image here, we're going to add just a little bit of structure, a little bit of AI enhance, but it's going to go a long way. So let's bring in AI accent. If we push it all the way, and that is what I recommend you do just to start with so you can see the effect that the slider is having. And then when your eye is familiar with what it's actually doing with the slider, then you can just dial it in to a more precise value. I think 20 in this instance is perfect. Now let's go to AI structure and let's bring the amount up and just see what this effect is having. So here you can see that if we go all the way, you can see that the details are being enhanced. You can see that the structure is really coming out in this image, but it's too much. What if we went for something like 10%? Let's look at our before and after that will show us both AI tools working together. Before, a little flat, but a nice image. After, we've just added that little bit of pop that's really gonna set your work apart. Now let's take a quick look at each of our before and afters. As we look through the images that we've just edited, bear in mind we've just used the simple AI tools, the AI enhance and AI structure within the essentials tab. And a couple of times we just delved a little deeper once we looked at the AI sky replacement tool and once we looked at the portrait enhancement tools. As you can see, these tools are extremely powerful, yet really simple to use. Luminar is doing all of that heavy lifting for you and you're able to create great results with a minimum of fuss.